Hey guys, um, I'm gonna do a vlog style um, get ready with me since I am actually done. I was gonna just vlog while I got ready, but I will turn this into a separate video for you. So let's do this. I'm using the Makeup Forever. Oh, isn't that funny? The pattern on my face. I'm using the Makeup Forever HD foundation. I don't know why I stopped using this. It's awesome. I, I know why I stopped using this. It was sheer laziness. I have it in my summer shade. And then when the summer was over, I stopped using it because obviously it wasn't that color anymore. And uh, usually two pumps, by the way, works for me. Pump and a half, something like that. Um, and I just never bothered to get my winter shade. So I put it right onto the brush. But And the brush I'm using is part of a scent that Coastal Scents sent me a long time ago. Well, in the last six months. I don't think it was that long ago. But anyway... Um, it's a whole brush set. I never bothered to do a whole review on it, but in a nutshell, I like it. I mean, it sheds a little, a tiny bit, but no more than any of my other, like Sigma or Sedona Lace, probably less than those actually. And none of my Real Techniques brushes ever shed, so. Um, so that's that. And then I'm just, I don't know why I'm doing this. I picked this up recently, haven't done a review on it. It's the Tarte Maracuja Creaseless Concealer. And a little goes a long way, like that's gonna be too much. Well, not really, but I have mixed feelings on this. I think I got the wrong color. This is a perfect match for my skin tone, which is great if I was concealing blemishes on my face, but I like my concealer a shade lighter under my eyes, so I could go back and get that. Um, my complaint is that nowhere on this packaging does it say what color I bought. So I can't even tell you for sure. I think it's fair neutral, but I'm not sure. The other problem I have with this is that it never sets. You have to put powder over it. Um, I don't know how it does not crease, but it's sticky like all day long for me. Um, I will say it's a perfect match on my face, but on my face it oxidizes. So I dug out an oldie but a goodie. This is the Estee Lauder Stay In Place Double Wear Concealer or Double Wear Stay In Place. And when I put this on top of the creaseless, it sets the creaseless. I also use this on my face. This stuff is good. I don't know why I stopped using this either. I think that, um, you know, as, with, as we do, us beauty YouTubers, we find something new and pretty and shiny and we try that out. Not that there's anything wrong with the old products, it's just always something more interesting. So I'm concealing a lot, I'm being very picky today. And I'm gonna use a Real Techniques brush, contour, to blend that in. I really love the finish of the um, concealer and the foundation together. I think they blend really well. And I think y'all have noticed that in the last few vlogs, which I also like about the Estee Lauder concealer is it's buildable. So I can keep layering until I get the level of opacity that I want. And I have to say, hands down, this is, I like this better than the NARS one. So I will be going back and getting more of this for sure. Uh, it lasts much longer. It's not as dry to the touch as the NAR. I feel the NARS one is rather drying. I don't know why no one else is commenting on that, but I think it is so. Did I get it? Nope, I missed a spot. I just, I love this stuff. And then I have been using my Besame, Besame, Kiss Me, Brightening French Vanilla Powder in Translucent. I like the powder hate the packaging. hate it. I even painted a little um, stripe with my nail polish so I know which side to lift it up from because it's hard to tell otherwise. And then I dumped some of it in the lid. And then I'll take this. More Real Techniques. I love Real Techniques. Regular brushes. You want to hear something really funny? So you, most of you should know that I completely trashed the Real Techniques new Heavy Metals collection. 
Well, guess who I got an email from asking if I wanted to try their new regular stuff. I guess they've just released some new, I don't know if they're limited edition or not. Um, I think they might be um, brushes from the, for the regular line. Yep, Real Techniques PR people just reached out to me and asked me if I'd be interested in reviewing the new limited edition brushes. Of course I said yes, I was gonna buy them anyway, but um, how funny is that? So we shall see. Okay, I've been doing a couple things for <sighs> bronzing, contouring. I'm gonna do a combo here. So lately I've been using my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette and I use um, Radiant Light, is that what this is? Yes, Radiant Light for contouring and Dim Light for kind of like warming up all over. And I'm kind of going to stick with that and then add a whole other step. When I can find, should I use this one? I'll use this one. This is the Wayne Goss brush. I've used this for a variety of things. I like it for highlighting. It's so soft. So this is subtle. <coughs> I'm not trying to contour the inside of my throat. So really subtle. I like to do contour first. Um, blend it up. And then I can blend it even more with my bronzer. I'm going to use two bronzers. I'm going to use my Too Faced. It is on its last legs, but I said that back in November and it's still holding on. I have the backup that I bought in November. I still haven't cracked it open, but it's starting to flake a lot. So, And then I go back over this. I go over the contour with the bronzer and bring it down my neck because that blends it out even more. This is a Sedona Lace brush. It does shed. I'm not gonna lie. And then, I say that like at some point I would lie, I'm not lying. And then, and then, and then, then I'm gonna go over the whole thing with the lighter of the two shades. That one. It gives, I don't know, it's just fun. I'm just slapping on products because I like to. And then I'm gonna take the middle one, it's that incandescent shade, I think it's called, incandescent light, put that under my eyes. Did it do anything? Probably not. Then, <laughs> Kevin Aquan, the Celestial Powder. I'm gonna use that Wayne Goss one again. I'm just gonna wipe that off on my arm. It's so soft. And I'm just gonna, do you see that? Oh, cheekbones, hello. I love, love the Kevin Aquan. Love it. It does come in a rose gold. This is the candle lit, the, the original shade. It's just so freaking pretty and so easy to use. And then I just do this. I saw Florida Force do this. I think I, I like it. I don't know why I do that. I don't know that it does anything, for me, but I like it. I do like the Hourglass. I go back and forth between Hourglass and the um, Clinique ones. I'm debating between this. This is Dim Infusion. Ooh. Or Peach Pop. The Clinique blushes have like a really pretty sheen to them, which remind me a lot of the Hourglass ones. They look really pigmented. They are, but there's a sheen. I'm gonna go with the Hourglass one today. There's really no reason why. Like, I'm just, what the heck, why not? I'm gonna use the Coastal Sense brush. It's so subtle, you can't even see it. No, you can. Clinique, super fine. I'm still not sure if I like this more than the Anastasia. I like the price more. But I find it's a little softer, which is, means it transfers better onto your skin, but, and it does last all day, but I feel like you could possibly put on too much, and I'm wondering if I am using this up at a more rapid rate than I would if this were the Anastasia one. So I think only time will tell, because I don't know how long this is going to last. 
I don't, I don't think that this is a be all and end all. I think there are a lot of great eyebrow pencils on the market. Like um, the It one seems to get a lot of love and the NYX one, the Maybelline one. So I would just say if you find one you like, use that one. This I've been using a lot, it's my Clinique. I'm using a lot of Clinique products because they gave me a lot of Clinique products to try for free. And then the funny thing is that I like them. I mean, here's the reality. You can give me all the free products you want. If I don't like them, I'm not going to use them. <laughs> so, I like this one though, I like it a lot. Look at that shimmer, it's like, it reminds me very much of the Maybelline, like Barely Branded or um, way more pigmented than Max Bare Study and it's much creamier and easier to get out of the pot because it's not a pot, it's a flat compact. I have been loving a very light eye. I've been using rice paper all over the lid and is it this one? I think it's wedge. Yep. Very simple. Let's give it a go. So, flat brush. Using a 239, I still think it is the world's best eyeshadow flat brush. Gives a nice sheen in the lid without going overboard. And it's a warmish light gold, so not too frosty. Although I believe this is a frost, hang on. I can't read it. Yep, frost. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna run that a little bit, a little bit under the eye. Very lightly. See these? I'm getting injected on Monday. It's been like two years, so going to a different doctor. We shall see how that goes. If you watch my vlog channel, you'll get to see that up close and per well, no, they, I'm sure they're not gonna let me film while I put stuff in my head, but the before and after. Okay, in with wedge. This is just one of those easy, no-brainer shades. I love it. This is a Soho London brush that I got at Walgreens. I don't know if you can still find it. It's sort of a dupe for the 224 from MAC, but a thousand times better because it's soft. My MAC 224 is itchy and scratchy. I've been blending a lot lately with this um, Coastal Sense Giant mm, BRCN42. It's humongous. I mean, look at the size of that. Big. And it comes to a point. I don't know if you can see that. So I can really get in there and blend, 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 blend. Then I use it and I'm using, um, I think it's MAC Blanc type. Yeah, that must be it. On the top. And then with a tiny, this is also from the, I, you know what? I didn't realize how often I'm reaching for these Coastal Sense brushes. It's a little tiny, smudgy, brushy thing. Um, just the tiniest in the inner corner of nylon, MAC nylon, which is really uh, reflective. So we, I'm trying to not put too much in there. So this is the Clinique Quick Liner for Eyes Intense, as opposed to the regular Clinique that's not intense. This is what I've been using lately, the black brown, but I guess the, they have some intense ones and they're actually the color of whatever, that's inappropriate. The color of what's in the tube. I like that they're doing that. It's a windy uppy thingy and there's a smudger at the end. And I'm just going close to the lash line. And that's it. I don't know. I can't decide if I want to deepen out that outer corner, maybe a little bit, because I am not known for my subtlety and restraint. Um, I'm going in with cork. Please. When did anybody ever say, oh, that Marnie, she is the embodiment of subtlety and restraint and class. No one, that was never said. 
Gotta own it. Okay, I'm going back with, oh, whoops. I'm going back with that smudger brush and putting cork under my eyes. I don't know how I got green eyeliner all over my fingers. But I did. Alrighty. And then we should curl the lashes. I have been alternating between two, the Lancome Grandiose Mascara and the Clinique High Impact Mascara. Which one do you guys want to see me use? I'll use the Clinique one. The wand's not as cool, but it works just as well. What do I want to do next? I'm going to take this giant it cosmetics brush. It came in, I think it was my test tube beauty, new beauty test tube something. It was a subscription service I just canceled. As I was saying before my battery died, um, I, this came in at a subscription box that I've since unsubscribed to because they sent me all the same stuff over and over again and charged me, I think, too much for what I got. But this was a pretty cool thing to get. So I do like going over my whole face. Um, I did spray with the NYX setting spray while off camera. And now for my lips, I'm gonna use, I used this the other day and people really liked it. It's a Wet n Wild 903C Just Peachy. I think peach and green looks really good together. Cause I'm wearing green later. Cause I'm filming this on St. Patrick's Day. Um, I don't know why I did that. And then I'm going to top it off with the one I want is in my purse. So I will just use this one. It's one of the Clarins Instant Light Lip Perfectors. I know they've come out with a stick version of this and I am very excited to try it. So that's it. That is my get ready with me. Lately I've been going for a very light eye, very natural, well, you know, as natural as you can look with all that makeup on face and um, messy hair. No, uh, get my hair done on Wednesday. It's like my hair knows when it's time to get itself done and it just stops cooperating a couple of days before that happens. Is that it happen to you guys too? Anyway, this is the finished look. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video, which will be tomorrow. Bye. Hey everyone, so I think you've noticed lately that my brows have been looking better than usual and I wanted to talk about some of the products that I used to get this. Actually